Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We, you are welcome, Midland Faith Center. We are so excited to have you this morning in the name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice in it today. We have got a wonderful guest as well amongst us. Uh, he's going to come and share with us the word of encouragement. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so excited that the Lord has been with us uh, during this month of women in Jesus name. Hallelujah. As I'm waiting for the people to join, I'm saying Lord is good. The Lord is good. And this is the day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Latoy has just started to come in right now in the name of Jesus. You are welcome, my sister. May God bless you wherever you are in Jesus name. Hallelujah. These are God's vibes as you say. We are here to share the word of God with the brethren in Jesus name. Ruth. The first one, you should win an award of being the first one to log. But today, um, Sister Latoy has beaten you. Hallelujah. Tell everybody, so you need to get a gift for that. Mr. Jacob, Ms. Weigu and family, may God bless you as you are joining in Jesus' name. Kandramo to. God is good all the time. We are so excited to be with you. We are saying that this is the day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. You are welcome, all of you, in Jesus' name. Mwale, hello, the second family. May God bless you. We're going to come and see you very soon and see how the baby is doing and how you guys are doing that. May God bless you and protect you during this time in the name of Jesus. We are so excited. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, as we have started, I would like to give you the announcements for today. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I would like to say the following, that those who are watching on YouTube, you must know that this is what we always do in Jesus' name. And we say that whenever you watch this broadcast and you are enjoying it, that just give us a thumbs up and make sure that you are able to follow us and you are able to prescribe, to subscribe so that whenever we log in, you will be reminded. And I urge you, all of you who are logged in, send your link, the link that you have used, send it to all your friends so that they will be able to log in. May God bless you hallelujah praise the name of jesus and please remember as we have said remember our fundraising that we have started we are coming towards the end of our fundraising and may god bless you for those who have already started to give in jesus name we are saying god is good all the time may god bless you through that as well we are so excited and we say that we thank god for the conference that we have heard uh, just uh, last time and we are so happy about it and the women women's uh, talk as well that happened yesterday ladies and gentlemen those who did not attend it you have missed uh, in jesus name hallelujah praise the name of jesus and we are also saying that we are looking forward for the baby showers that are supposed to come because this is the day that the lord has made and we are so glad we are happy. We are so glad and we are so happy about it in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We remind you once more about the Enoch prayer that we have on Monday. If you are not amongst the people who are on the Enoch prayer, that is the prayer group that we conduct on Monday from 5, uh, 530, 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock for the leaders, 530 to 7 o'clock. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. May you contact me, send me a WhatsApp message and I say, I am not in the group. And then we will be able to make sure that you are in that group. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And also, uh, considering that this is Women's Month, the ladies have enjoyed yesterday, I would like to welcome all of you. I will say the Lilimu family, you are welcome. Together with the new baby, we are looking forward to see the new baby. Rosina Nkwenika, may God bless you wherever you are. Mr. Richmond Mube, I hope you are still in Nelspray. May God bless you there from Nelspray. Hallelujah. Queen as well, God bless you. It's a blessed morning indeed. The weather is good. It's not cold. It's not hot, but it's just moderate. And Rendani as well. Well, hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. We are so excited as we are going towards the end of the month. 
of August, we are going to go and start broadcasting from church. May God bless you as we are going to go there. So please prepare yourself for those who will be able to come, those who are not vulnerable. You will be able to come and join us in the church. May God bless you. We are still missing some people to join, but nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, let me take this opportunity to welcome with welcome with me, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. Mchekwa, please don't, don't never mind the name that you will see. Praise the name of Jesus. The technicians are still working on it. You are going to see Mr. Mchekwa will be talking to us and I'm going to put him on the studio. Mr. Mchekwa, welcome with all the word of encouragement. May God bless you. The Moabe family has joined as well. So we are so excited, Mr. Mchekwa. We say, may God bless you, Dakar, as well as connected. God bless you wherever you are in Jesus' name. Mr. Mchekwa, just greet the people before I give you the podium to address the church uh, with a word of encouragement. Just greet everyone so that we can hear whether your sound is okay or not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Wafunzi. I'm as energetic as you are this morning. Thanks uh, for the protection of the Lord, even though we are going through difficult times. But we thank God that he's still protecting us. Hallelujah. And I miss the church at large. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. If you are missing the church, uh, the next two weeks we will be in church. Praise the name of Jesus. The first week of September, we shall be in church in person and God is good. We are going to join corporately and we are going to praise the name of Jesus. So right now in Jesus name, let me give you the opportunity to share the word of encouragement with us and open the scripture and share with us before we start the word. May God bless you and all the people who have joined. We see you are all welcome. Praise the name of Jesus. Over to you, Mr. Michegwa. Thank you very much, Wafunzi. Uh, as a norm that we have been taught, um, even though we are far from each other, uh, we are broadcasting live. Um, it's, it's always our norm that even before we can share the word of encouragement, we pray. Uh, let us close our eyes so that I can pray and thank God for this opportunity that Wafunzi has given unto us. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for this opportunity that you have given unto us as I'm going to share the word of encouragement with those children. Father, I pray that, mighty God, the revelation that you have revealed unto me, Father, I will be able to share it with your children the way that you have given unto to us without being mixed mighty God by my own thoughts. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray this morning, Father, that mighty God, every heart, mighty God, that is going to receive this word, mighty God, it will be able to be cultivated in their heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray this morning. Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you very much. Uh, it is a great day. This is the Lord that the Lord, this is the day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice and be glad on it. Um, my topic for today, um, I don't have much time, uh, I'm going to talk about God's provision. To, to This morning you are going to hear about the word give most of the time. And our reading will come from the book of Matthew, uh, Matthew 6. We all know this scripture, but I will read from 9 to 11. It says, it says in this manner, so which means Jesus in this case, he was teaching his disciples on how to pray. And he said, this is the way that you need to pray. He says, our father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. I was looking at that scripture, scripture number 11 is the one that we are going to talk about. It says, give us our, give us this day our daily bread. And I've realized that giving is a sim, it symbolizes the provision of God in our lives. And the word give expresses my dependency on God. Hallelujah. And then also, which means, which means when we say give, it means I know that you've got it. Even in this scripture, when Jesus was saying, give us this day our daily bread. He knew that Jesus today is God what I need. Hallelujah. When you say give, it's like a baby sucking on his mother's breast. Because when you say give, it is the process where you are starting the flow. So it's not the matter of saying whether the breast has got milk or not. But when you stay give, you are initiating and you are starting the process so that the milk can flow out. Hallelujah. God is saying no question about whether I've got what you need or not. You will never get it if you don't say, God, I want this. Hallelujah. And then as we are continuing to, 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 to share the word of God, I was also referred to, to the scripture. We all know it. It's uh, in Matthew 7. It's Matthew 7, verse 7. And then we are going to read, uh, yeah, we're going to start from verse 7 up until 8. 
in, on my side, I'm using uh, New King James. It says, ask and it will be given unto you. That means that in order for you to get anything from God, you have to be the initiator. So if God, you won't receive anything from God if you don't initiate. So there have to be a process that you start by initiating so that the process can flow according to the way that you want in your life. Hallelujah. The provision will not be provided in, if you don't request. We all know about James 4 2. It says, You have not because you didn't ask. So, in order for us, everything that we don't have in our lives, I believe that is because we didn't ask anything. And everything that we have in our lives is because we have asked of God. Hallelujah. The Bible didn't say, give me. This is the other thing that I have learned in this scripture. The Bible didn't say, give me. But he was talking in, in, in plural. He says, give us. Then I've realized or the reason why most of the churches are suffering, you find that the other portion in our church are prospering, is because we, are, we have become so selfish, whereby it's all about give me, Lord, give me, Lord, give me, Lord, instead of saying, give us. So if I'm saying, I'm praying for the Muchawa family, there has to be someone in church whereby I have to commit and say, God, we are praying for this individual. God, we are praying for this family. So because what so that when a midrash faith center prospers, we all prosper. Hallelujah. We can't be satisfied while our brothers, they don't have anything and then we've got everything. Come on, let's be honest, Pastor Alan. We can't be satisfied when our brothers have got nothing and we've got everything. So which means even in prayer, when we pray, we need to pray for one another. Hallelujah, Masolani. Always pray for provision uh, for, for God to bless those, those someone, someone's life. Always pray for provision of God into someone's life. So which means whatever comes in your, in your mind, you need to pray for that person or God provide for this person. Hallelujah. And then when it goes like it says this day, I want to share this in church. Um, I once said in church, whereby it says, I'm not saying, God, uh, uh, that you didn't give me yesterday, but we need God's uh, 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 direction every day. Remember, it says, give us this day our daily bread. So which means, I once said, you cannot fight the devil with yesterday provision. Today, we need another provision from God to fight the, 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 the snare of the enemy today. So whatever we have conquered yesterday, we cannot use it to conquer today, which means God needs to give us something today. Hallelujah. That's why the word of God, it says, his mercies are new every morning. Every morning, we need to activate Every morning we need to tap into the mercies of God, not to yesterday's mercy, but every morning, every day. Hallelujah. God will give us provision each day. Hallelujah. That means God is going to give you enough for this day. Hallelujah. And then also I found an interesting scripture in Matthew 6, 34. I, I just want to read it. Uh, it's Matthew 6, 34. Uh, before I can hand over back to Afunzi. Um, it was so nice in Matthew 6, 34. It says, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. We all know the scripture, but it's so nice. I will recommend that you go and read it in TLB. It's so nice. It said, do not worry about tomorrow. Worry about today. Hallelujah. That's why the scripture, it says we need each and every day to go before God. Because each and every day we need our strength to be renewed. Hallelujah. Even the word of God says, give us this day our daily bread. And then when we are going to say our daily bread, don't give me yesterday's bread. I want today's bread. Hallelujah. That's hence I said you cannot find yesterday the uh, today's devil with yesterday's bread. Hallelujah. We even remembered about that Easter as well. God was giving the Israel manna. So he said, gather enough for today. He didn't say gather enough for tomorrow, for next week. He said, gather enough for today. Because some of them, they try to gather for tomorrow and for next week. Guess what happened to that bread? The worms ate it up. Hallelujah. That is the challenge that we are facing in our lives whereby we try to gather so much things in our life for tomorrow and next week. But God is saying, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. But right now God is saying, I'm there for you. I will give you enough bread for today. In closing, when I was thinking about this scripture, I just remember, I said, God, what is this bread of, of or what is the bread, of our daily bread that we need in our life? I was remind, reminded about that scripture in um, it's, it's in John. Um, sorry about that. It's in John. Uh, it's John six verse thirty two. 
from, uh, yeah, it's John 6, 32 to 35. I will quickly uh, Google it, John 6, John 6, 32 up to 35. It says, then Jesus said to them, most assuredly I say to you, Moses did not give you the bread from heaven, but my father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Then he says, then, he, then they said to him, Lord, give us this bread always. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. So, Basolani, each and every day in our lives, the bread of God, uh, the bread of life, we are referring to Jesus. The bread, this bread that we are referring to, we are referring to the word of God. Basolani, each and every morning that we wake up before we do anything, we need to say, God, we need this bread of life this morning. We need your word. We need your word in everything that we are going to do. And Basolani, believe me, you, we shall conquer. Even though we are facing this difficult whereby there's lockdowns and everything we have to wear the mask and all those things but when we pray and say God give us this day our daily bread and the word of God be in our heart the Jesus be in our life nothing will go wrong in our lives hallelujah with that uh, 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 word of encouragement uh, word of encouragement I said be blessed Masolani, as we are going to listen to the word of God from our senior pastor hallelujah thank you very much Bafunzi, for this wonderful time you can see what I'm so energetic as Bafunzi. so Masolani, thank you very much Bafunzi. thank you very much for this opportunity Hallelujah. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Mchekwa. We are so excited with the energy that you are showing. We are looking forward to our first day on, on, I mean, on the church in September on the premises. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. We are so excited about that. Thank you for the energy. It shows that you are fully charged. You know, lockdown might have done a great wonder. May God bless you wherever you are. May God bless you. We would like to thank the people who have just joined now. And then, uh, and also, my may God bless you, Rinai, as well. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. We are just about to start right now. Let me tell you, take this opportunity to wish a very happy birthday to our brother, to Misha. In Jesus' name, we say, may God bless you as you are enjoying this day. We say, may God bless you. We are so excited to have you in the church. We are so blessed as well. We say that be blessed in Jesus' name. And also would like to say happy birthday to Umama, Uma Kurgasino, Umamu Kaiya. In Jesus' name, we thank you for what you have done. You have shown us the way. We say happy birthday and enjoy this day. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we are going to rejoice in it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have already started, and we have already had a word of encouragement that we need to be amongst each other. We need to be with each other, whatever we do, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Mr. Mchekwa, don't run away. Just stay in the studio and enjoy the front seat. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday, yesterday we have heard the word, powerful word from the ladies' talk. We have heard the powerful word about Leah and Rachel that instead they should have cooperated. Ladies and gentlemen, the topic of today is do not fret, do not worry. You do not compete amongst each other, but cooperate. Cooperate so that you will be able to, to achieve a common goal. The common goal of eternal life, it needs us, ladies and gentlemen, able to cooperate. Let me just give a recap on what has been said about Leah and Jacob. All of you, you remember that Leah and Jacob, uh, Leah and Rachel were the children of Laban, who, were the, who, were, who was the uncle of Jacob. And you will know very well that Jacob wanted to marry Rachel first, and then he was given Leah because of all the events that had happened. And then he had to wait. But instead of the sisters to cooperate amongst one another, there was strife, uh, they were having problems and everything. But they should have cooperated. And one thing that struck me, ladies and gentlemen, from the ladies and from what Mama was saying yesterday, was that eventually Rachel had many children, and also Rachel had two children as well, which was Joseph and Benjamin. Now, what happened was that when we look back now in retrospect, we are able to find out that instead of the one that was loved, which was Rachel, 
where we would have expected that Jesus would have come from Rachel's womb. But Jesus came from Judah, who was coming from Leah's side. So ladies and gentlemen, we do not know where your blessings are going to come from. As the Mchepa has been saying right now, we do not know where your blessings are going to come from. So let's take care of each other. Let's make sure that we usher each other into greatness. Ladies and gentlemen, when we usher each other into greatness, tomorrow, that person that you elevate to go up, that person will help you so that you will be able to benefit from it. The same person that you might be ushering today might be your boss tomorrow. Hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. The same person that you are ushering, the same child that you are taking care of today might be the person who will be able to take care of you. If you can look back 20 years back, for those who might have lived for more than 20 years, you will realize that there may be some people that you should, you might not have taken care of. But let me tell you, let us continue to do good because tomorrow those people will be the people who help us where we are. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a certain saying which says that if you want to invest for the future, you can put money in the bank. But that bank can fall within some times due to COVID because of the economic recession. That bank can go down. But if you want to have the riches that will be able to help you in the future, make sure that you don't, you don't plant trees. You go and plant people. If you want a forest, go and plant trees. But if you want the riches that will stay for eternal life, go and plant people. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. So don't worry, do not fret, do not compete, but make sure that we cooperate. Ladies and gentlemen, as I have said, let us make sure that the people that God has brought in our lives, we are able to utilize them. We are able to help them to move. We are able to elevate them. We are able able to give them a pedestal where they are able to move forward because tomorrow they are going to be our leaders. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you three examples of our presidents. And then let me give you an example of President Mandela. There were many people who were staying there in the village. There were many old people who were staying there. Many people might have ignored him. Many people who he was living with, they, they might have ignored him. They said, oh no, this one is not doing something good. But let me tell you at the end, when they look back, they said, I wish the day when he came, I should have given that cow for that function that was happening today, I would have been recognized. Ladies and gentlemen, let me come to another president, President Zuma. For some of people who might have met him, wherever he might have been, and they did not contribute to his life. And when he was in the presidency, they would just say, oh, I know this president. But ladies and gentlemen, if they have done something good to him, they would, they would have been in a situation where they will say, I have contributed to that life. And then last but not least, let's say for President uh, Cyril, Ramaphosa. For those people who might have met him somewhere, some people might be saying, oh, I have taught him whilst he was at school. Ladies and gentlemen, when you have an opportunity of doing good to the other person, make sure that you do it. For tomorrow you do not know which tree are you planting. Do not compete, do not fret, but make sure that you cooperate. Ladies and gentlemen, most of the energies that are wasted, they are wasted because people Instead of cooperating, people are destroying, people are fighting, people are in strife. Instead of cooperating, they do not combine the synergy that is found from another person to the other person, as we have heard in the word of encouragement. Instead of doing that, they make sure that they destroy everything and thereby destroying the foundation that will be able to help them in the future. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, out of 10 people or 100% of the people that you know, 70% you could have done good to their lives. But make sure that you contribute into their lives so that tomorrow they will be for you. They will be there for you when you need them. Hallelujah. Can somebody say yes to that? Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Right now, I am going to read the scripture that cements 
uh, the information that we are talking about. That is in the book of Numbers chapter 11, from verse 4 to verse 6. I'm going to go from verse 4 to 6, and then I will jump to verse 21 to 31. Numbers chapter 11, what does it say in verse 4? The rubble with them began to crave other food, and again the Israelites started wailing and said, if only we had meat to eat. We remember the fish we ate in Egypt at no coast. Also the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, onions, and garlics. Hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. But now we have lost our appetite. We never see anything but this manna. This is the Israelites who were grumbling, ladies and gentlemen, when they were in the desert, when God has ushered them, when he was taking them towards Egypt. And then they are grumbling. They said, we are tired of the manna that God was providing. God was feeding them with the food of heaven. God was feeding them with the food of angels, food that does not only uh, nourish their body, but the food that nourish both the soul and the spirit, ladies and gentlemen, and the Israelites started to grumble and say, now we are missing the cucumber, the leeks, the onions, and the garlics of Egypt. We are remembering the meat that we used to eat at no cost. Little did they know that they were paying, paying for it through their labor. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what had happened after they have grumbled before the Lord. Verse 21, ladies and gentlemen, it says, uh, it reads as follows. But Moses said, here I am among 600,000 men on foot. And you say, I will give them meat to eat for a whole month. Would they have enough? Would they have enough if flocks and hares were slaughtered for them? Would they have enough if all the fish in the sea were caught for them? Moses here is indicating the limitation that he heard as he was facing the issue, he, when he was facing the problem, when people were complaining that they needed meat, God said, I will give them meat. And Moses is saying, according to man, it cannot be done. According to man, it's, it's impossible. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, our God is a God of possibilities. Our God is a God of impossibilities. What is impossible to man, it is possible to God. Hallelujah. Somebody say yes to that. And then he continues to say, the Lord answered Moses, is the Lord's arm too short? Now you will see whether or not what I say will come true for you. Then the Lord answered to, he answered to Moses. He says, do not worry, do not fret. The Lord's arm is not too short. Oh, I don't know what kind of problem that you might be facing. I don't know what kind of grumbling you might be facing. I don't know what kind of whatever is affecting you. Ladies and gentlemen, the arm of the Lord is not too short to heal you. The arm of the Lord is not too short to give you an accept, expected future. The arm of the Lord, ladies and gentlemen, is not too short. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Mr. Michewa has opened the fire within me. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you right now, the arm of the Lord is not short. The arm of the Lord is not short to take you out of your trouble. The arm of the Lord is not too short to take you out of your calamity. The arm of the Lord is not too short to take you out of the problems that you are facing. The arm of the Lord is not short to take you and give you something that will fulfill your life. The Bible says in the scripture that has been read, we know that is the code of meat and faith center. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these other things will be added to you. The arm of the Lord is not short to make sure that it gives you something that you desire. Oh Jesus, Lord have, him, have mercy on us. The Bible says once more, the Lord answered Moses, is the Lord's arm too short? Now you will see whether or not what I will say will come true for you. So Moses went out and told the people what the Lord has said. He brought together 70 of the elders and had them, and had them stand around the tent. Moses gathered the people so that they can be able to gather around the tent. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke with him. And he took some of the power of the spirit that was on him and put it on the 70 elders. When the spirit rested on them, 
they prophesied, but they did not do so again. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you this, that when the arm of the Lord is upon you, when the arm of the Lord, when the spirit of the Lord is upon you, you will be able to do things that cannot be phantomed by any person. You will be able to do things that cannot be imagined by any person. Ladies and gentlemen, when the arm of the Lord is upon you, you will be able to you will be able, ladies and gentlemen, to do the things that are impossible. Ladies and gentlemen, our God specializes on things that are impossible. The Bible says Moses gathered the 70 leaders. The 70 leaders representing the elders. It represents the elders of all the the, the nations of Israel. So they were told to come and stand by the tent. And the Spirit of the Lord came in a cloud. The Lord himself, he came in a cloud and started to speak to Moses. And the Bible says he took the spirit of Moses and he took it and he put it on all the 70 elders. Oh, remember the topic, ladies and gentlemen. He says, do not fret, do not worry. Do not fret, do not worry, but cooperate amongst each other. Now we see here that the spirit of the Lord was given on the 70 elders. And when he gave them the spirit, the Bible says they started to prophesy. What did they started to have? They started to have revelation knowledge to be able to understand and fathom that the Lord's arm is not short. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give you a revelation right now that sometimes your answer is just right there next to you. The answer might be just there in front of you and you might not be able to get the, you are unable to perceive what God wants to do for you oh praise the name of Jesus you are unable to perceive what God is about to do for you you must be able to perceive the Bible says behold behold look I am about to do a great thing I'm about I'm about to do something wonderful don't you see it don't you hear it the Bible says perceive it Ladies and gentlemen, some things you may not be able to see them, but you need to perceive them so that you will be able to receive them. You cannot receive what you are unable to perceive. You cannot receive what you are unable to imagine. You cannot receive the answer you think is impossible. But when you think about the possibility in God, you will be able to acknowledge and you will be able to receive what God wants you to receive. Oh, somebody say yes to that revelation. You need to understand. The Bible says we need wisdom and understanding. In understanding, we are able to see the great extent which God will be able to do his things according to the power that is at work within us. According to the power that is at work within us, he will be able to do greater things, exceedingly greater things above all what we can think, above all that we can imagine. What does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? You can be able to get, you can be able to get what you are able to imagine. You can be able to get what you are able to perceive. You can be able to get what you are able to receive from God, who is the source of the impossibilities. Hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. The Lord specializes on the impossibilities. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something before we give you the learnings of today. However, two men whose names were Eldad and Midad, everybody say Eldad and Midad, Eldad and Midad, had remained in the camp. They were listed amongst the elders, but they did, they did not go out of the tent. Yet, yet the spirit also rested on them. And they prophesied in the camp. A young man ran and told Moses, Eldad and Midad are prophesying in the camp. Listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. When we have got people who are, we are together, and we say we are going to do one, two, three. Let's all do it together. Let's all move together. Right now we see here, Eldad and Midad, they did not go to the camp, although they were amongst the 70 
that have been selected to be able to go and get the spirit so that they can get the spirit from Moses. So the selection was there, but they did not arrive in the ex exact spot where other people were, where other leaders were. Guess what had happened? When God was filling the elders with the spirit of Moses, the spirit that was in Moses, let me tell you what had happened. In elder and major who were outside, they did not come. They stayed in the camp with the people. Guess what? At the same time, when the spirit which was in Moses was given to the other 68 leaders, the Bible says the spirit of the Lord came also to Eda, Eldad, and Midad. What are we learning out of that? The topic says, do not fret, do not worry, do not compete, just cooperate. Now, in Eldad and Midad, they were in the camp. Maybe they were boycotting that we don't want this Moses. We don't want the Lord who has chosen this Moses. We don't know the reason because the Bible didn't tell us. But all what is telling us is telling us that all 68 went to the camp as Moses has summoned them to go. But Eldad and Midad, they really let other people down. But in as much as they let other people down, listen and watch the attitude of God. Look at what God do. He does it in a different way. He allowed the spirit that was in Moses to also be in them. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that amazing, ladies and gentlemen? Do you think it was supposed to happen like that? Those who, does, who do not come to the party, they do not come together with their mouth, other people say. So now that they did not come, but the spirit of the Lord was upon them. What is God teaching us today? God is teaching us that even if people do not do what all of us do, let us not go there and judge them by what they did not do. Because the same spirit that was in the leaders managed to fall on elder and leader. Somebody say yes. Praise the name of Jesus. Now let's see something wonderful here. Verse 28. Joshua, son of Nun, who had been Moses' aide since youth, spoke up and said, Moses, my Lord, stop them. It means they were in the camp, but they were also closer to the place where the leaders were. It means they were maybe in the group of people in the camp, but they did not come forward in the temple. They did not come forward in the tent, sorry. Now, but the spirit of the Lord was, or he managed to fall on them. Now, ladies and gentlemen, look at something so wonderful here. Remember, Joshua, son of Nun, was, uh, the Bible says he was the aide of Moses since his youth. He was Moses' aide. He was one of the 12 spies. He was one of the people who were sent to spy the land. He was one of the leaders. In retrospect, we are able to look back and say that he was the second in command to Moses. Listen to what he says. He says, Moses, my Lord, stop them so that they should not prophesy. Why? Because they did not do what we were supposed to have done. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. In everything that we do, ladies and gentlemen, whether it be giving, whether it be prayer, the inner prayer, the fundraising, let us not worry about those that did not give. Let us not worry about those that could not give. Because the same spirit that will fall on us, the same reward that will fall on us, will be able to fall on them also. Somebody say yes. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. But Moses replied, are you jealous for my sake? I wish that all the people were prophets and that the Lord will put his spirit on them. Now listen. Listen to what Moses is saying. He says, don't be jealous, Joshua. I know you are second in command. I know you are the person who is supposed to assist me towards going. And I know by the revelation that I got from God that I will not reach Canaan, but you are the one who is going to lead the people to go to Canaan. But let me tell you, this is what he has said. He has said, he has said that you should not be, you should not be worried about what I'm doing. All what you need to do. I wish that all of them, the spirit of the Lord can be upon them. And I wish that all of them can prophesy. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Right now, 
The Bible says, as they were doing, verse 21, verse 31, now a wind went out from the Lord and drove quail in from the sea. It scattered them up to two cubits deep. A cubit deep is about 90 centimeters deep all around the camp, as far as a day's walk in any direction. The God of impossibilities come. The God of provision started to come. Like what Mr. Micheko was saying, that our God is the God of provision. He started to give provision. And as he gave provision, Moses was saying, do not fret about those that did not do what you have done. Ladies and gentlemen, Christianity is not competition. Christianity is not something that we should compete with. Christianity is not something that we should use. We need to cooperate and form the kingdom of God and move with the kingdom of God and make sure that as we move, we have hold each other's hand so that we can reach our common goal, so that we can reach our common destination. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. God gave them, all of them, including the people who did not come, they got the spirit. But let me tell you, including the people who are in the camp, 600,000 of men, if we include women and children, about 1 million people were fed and they received meat from God. You, hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. Now, what do we learn in this, uh, in this uh, sermon today? Number one, what do we learn? Do not remember your Egypt. Do not remember the things that you used to do before you were born again. You are a new creature now. The Bible says if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. Do not remember your Egypt. You are a new creature. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Do not remember where you come from. Focus where you are going. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our our faith. Praise the name of Jesus. And number two, ladies and gentlemen, when we plan one thing, when we plan to do one thing, let's do it in one heart. Be it prayer giving, supporting one another, let's do it in one spirit, in the same spirit that has been given uh, to the children of Israel, the same spirit that has been given to the people who are leading Israel, the 70 of them, including those that did not come to the camp. Ladies and gentlemen, it will happen that some of us will not be able to do what everybody is doing. But ladies and gentlemen, let's hold each other. Let's pick each other up through the Enoch prayer and make sure that we move ourselves together to a common goal. Number three, those who do not cooperate are also rewarded. They receive the spirit. Those who do not cooperate, those who did not go to the camp, God rewarded them. He gave them the spirit. And beyond that, ladies and gentlemen, people, one million people, those people who were as far away, they were able to receive the meat that people were looking for. Praise the name of Jesus. Number four, do not be jealousy of each other. Don't be like Joshua. Joshua, who was Moses' second in command, he was jealous of the people who were prophesying because they received the spirit, even though they did not come in front. Ladies and gentlemen, I pray that each and every one of us will look at the interest of the other. Whatever the other person is doing, let's make sure that we do it to the benefit of the other Christian. We do it to the benefit of the other people. Number five, Moses' wish. All should be prophets, spirit on them, and that they be successful. Ladies and gentlemen, my prayer like Moses is that may God bless each and every one of you, regardless of what you have done, regardless of whether you participated in prayer or not, regardless of whether we called for fasting and you do not come. When you reap the reward, don't think that the rewards are happening because of you. The rewards might be happening because of others. So thank the prayers of others. Then you will be able to understand that indeed God is with us. Oh Lord, have mercy on us so that we cannot be in the spirit of jealousy, so that the spirit of success can be upon us. Let us all be filled by the spirit of Caleb, the spirit of success, the spirit of faith, the spirit that enables us to go forward. Number six, 
quail was reigned on the camp, not only at the tent where God was and where they were prophesying. I have already mentioned that. The quail was reigned on the camp, not only at the tent, but also outside where the camp was. May God bless you as you listen to this word. Verse at the number seven, his hand is not short, ladies and gentlemen. His hand is not short. Let me conclude right now as we are coming to the end of this message. Everybody just watch carefully right now as I'm concluding. The Bible says, we, as we live, since the time of the COVID-19, since the lockdown in March, other people got tired. Other people could not pray. Maybe due, due to COVID-19 or due to being very busy or whatever the reason. Please let's remember that God is with all of us. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 4, it says, do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, present all your requests unto God. Oh, and the peace of the Lord that surpasses all understanding shall guard your heart, your heart and your mind. Hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. And whatsoever things is pure, whatsoever things is just, whatsoever thing is true, whatsoever thing is lovely, whatsoever thing is of good report, please think about that. That's Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and up to, up to 8. Ladies and gentlemen, please go and read it. Do not worry about anything. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. When the rewards will come, they will come to the whole camp and not only to the and not only to the to, to, to the tent praise the name of Jesus God will be able to give us all our desires in closing ladies and gentlemen let me read Psalm 37 oh praise the name of Jesus is so wonderful please go and revise it start from verse uh, start from verse 3 and then you will see the greatness of the Lord praise the name of Jesus he says trust in the Lord and do good Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pastures. Trusting in the Lord. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pastures. The Bible says, take delight in the Lord. He will give you the desires of your heart. Desires is what you want, ladies and gentlemen. Desires is what you wish. God will satisfy all your wishes. Not only will he satisfy your needs, but he will also satisfy your desires. The Bible says in verse 5, commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him. He will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn. Your re righteous reward will shine like the dawn. Your vindication like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways for they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret. It leads only to evil. For those who are evil will be destroyed. And those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Those who hope in the Lord, those who trust in the Lord and cooperate with their fellow human beings and cooperate with their fellow Christians, Ladies and gentlemen, they will be able to inherit the land. Trust, dwell, delight, commit, reward, be still. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. And last but not least, hope in the Lord. When you hope, God will be able to give you success. Praise the name of Jesus. Just be ready because we are going to close this service in a word of prayer right now. Right now, for all the people who have joined us in Jesus' name, we say welcome. Uh, may God bless you as well. May God bless you. Praise the name of Jesus. We are about to close in a word of prayer right now. As we are about to close, I would like to ask you right now that before we close, let me pray for you. Wherever you are, I'm going to pray for you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I'm going to pray for you right now. Just lift up your hand wherever you are, in Jesus' name. As you praise, as you lift up your hand, say, Lord, I want to be a cooperator. I want to be, an, I don't want to be a destroyer. When other people go to the tent, I want to go to the tent as well. 
Hallelujah. I want to go to the tent. I don't want to be left behind. Praise the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus, just lift up your hand. We're going to pray for you. Right now, as you lift up your hands, right now, we're going to pray for you. Lift up your hand in Jesus' name. And Mr. Mchepa, just pray in Jesus' name for each and every one of them so that they can be successful whether they do something or not. But let them be blessed because our God, his arm is not short. Praise the Lord. Just, just pray. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Bafuns, for giving me this opportunity. We are going to pray. And you know, it's very interesting, Wafunzi, when uh, you said I must not go away. I opened Psalm 37, but mine was from verse uh, 25, where it says, I have, I have been young and now I'm old, yet I have not seen the rushes, those in the right standing with God abandoned, or his descendants pleading for bread. So that's what Bafunzi was saying. Well, we must not compete for, with one another, but we need to complete one another. If we see someone that is starving at our church, we need to be there because God has given us access to such and we need to give to other people. Hallelujah. So as we are going to pray right now, I will just request everyone to lift up their hands and then start speaking something that you want to see in your life. If they said any repentance in your life, God will deal. Even myself on my side, I've got some things that God I need to, he needs to deal with me. Hallelujah. As we are going to pray, Believe that it has happened. Hallelujah. As Bafunze has said the word. Let us close our eyes and pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Baba, we read the Namusi. We say, Father, we thank you for your word that you have given unto us this morning that we need not to worry about anything. Father, we don't need to compete with one another because, mighty God, we might have the head, we might have the hands, but we are one in Christ. Heavenly Father, I pray that, mighty God, you know our heart desire, you know our shortcomings, you know our shortfalls. So, Father, we pray for the power of the Holy Spirit to enable us, to assist us, Lord, to give us wisdom, revelation. Father, I pray this morning that so Christopher, Baba, you know our heart desire. We want to remain right, mighty God, with you. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that you bless each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus, for we know that your hand is not too short, mighty God, to reach us, to save us. Lord, I pray pray in the name of Jesus whatever the devil has planned against our life, Lord I pray and I release your anointing to break everything right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord we pray this morning, we give you the praise, we give you the glory, we want to be your children mighty God, even by saving Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you the praise and we believe this morning, mighty God, that it is done. In the name of Jesus, no matter the circumstances that we are in, Father God, but we remain in you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, because your word has spoken that in you we live, in you we move, in you we have all our being. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we pray and we release your blessing upon your children who are watching right now. Lord, they've got an expected heart. Lord, bless them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor to the Baba. There is none like you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are so excited. Uh, let me, as I'm closing right now, I say that remember tomorrow is our Enoch, Enoch prayer. Please, we're going to start at six o'clock in Jesus name. May God bless you. And also we are going to have, we are going to continue with the women's month in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus and happy birthday to our brother, to me and our Makuru, uh, in Jesus name. May the good God bless you as we end this broadcast. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Be blessed in Jesus' name as we close. Lord, be with us. Bless them. May, they, may your face shine on them. And surely goodness and mercy shall be upon them from now and forevermore. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. May your grace be with each and every one. The love of God. Hallelujah. Be with each and every one. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit continue to be with us so that we cannot compete amongst one another, but we complete each other and we cooperate amongst each other in your kingdom. In Jesus' name, I thank you. I praise you. Amen and amen. Until we see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.